can be done and I'm doing it and I'll show you how. So you've watched all my videos about how much money you could be making with the Amazon Influencer Program. It's false. Oh wait, you haven't? Okay, so you were watching someone else's videos. It's probably true. And maybe you've also even seen some of my own personal results, which are pretty cool. Very cool. And you want in on the action. So you use your social media account, you apply to the program and then Denied. Well, now what? You tell me. This is unfortunately a pretty common occurrence. And if I was in your shoes, this is exactly what I would do. But before I get into my exact strategy, let me first say something that's probably going to make a lot of you very mad. But for the right few of you that hear this, it's hopefully gonna be motivation. Okay, so here it goes. There are a few different types of people in this world. I don't like where this is going. Some types of people will see opportunities like this and think, okay, how do I get started? How do I do this? How do I build this? Other people will watch opportunities like this and say, eh, it's too hard. I don't wanna do it. Eh, it's too much work. The types of people who tend to be really good at this sort of stuff all really have that kind of hustler mentality. And I'm not saying hustler like scam people. I mean hustle like, Get up every day, keep doing what it takes, keep plugging away until it works. So I'm gonna steal a quote from a movie, I don't even remember what movie it was, but I think it encapsulates this idea perfectly. And it goes like this. Do you know why the Native American rain dance always worked? Because they wouldn't stop dancing until it rained. So I'm hoping some of you will take that to heart if you plug in one of these methods that jumps out at you and you just do it every single day until it works, then eventually it will work. This guy sucks. Okay, now that I've pissed off a whole bunch of people, let's quit being so dramatic and just get into it. Okay, so even though you weren't approved for the Amazon Influencer Program, that does not mean that you cannot make money with Amazon. The Associates Program is open to pretty much anybody and the barrier to entry to get into that program is a lot, lot less. So that's where I would go if if I got denied from the influencer program. Now I've already had an Amazon Associates account. I've already dabbled with it in my past, never really made much money with it, but I'm gonna show you what I would do if I got denied for influencer status. I would go to the Associates program, I would sign up. You will now have this fancy Amazon Associates stripe bar going across the top of your Amazon page. That is an affiliate tool which allows you to create affiliate links for any product that's on Amazon. So let's say I wanted to sell this Fitbit Versa 4. All I would have to do now is go up, click on text and it will create an affiliate link specifically for me that then I could use to give to people. If they use my affiliate link and go to Amazon and make a purchase, I make a commission. Now, here's the bad news. Yeah, let's not talk about that right now, okay? The bad news is the Amazon Influencer Program is so powerful because Amazon is creating all the traffic for you. That's pretty crazy. The Amazon Associates Program is not quite as powerful because even though you have this affiliate link, you now have to get people to that affiliate link in order for them to make purchases, which is a lot harder, but it can be done and I'm doing it and I'll show you how. Now, one really great thing about the Associates program that would be awesome in the Influencer program, but it doesn't exist right now is in the Associates program, you get what is called a cookie. What's a cookie? A cookie is sort of like a tag where it tags a customer. So let's say you put this link on Facebook and say, hey, I just bought this new Fitbit. It's awesome. Click here if you're interested in it. If someone does click on that and they go and look at your Fitbit and decide not to buy it, but they go finish their grocery shopping anyway, you still get paid for all their grocery shopping. Or let's say you send them to this Fitbit, they put the Fitbit in their cart and they realize, okay, if I'm gonna start running with a Fitbit, I now need some running shoes and I now need a new running outfit. And they put all those things in the cart and it racks up to like a thousand thousand dollars worth of stuff in their cart, you don't just make commission off the Fitbit. You make commission off the entire thousand dollar sale. So you can have accidental humongous commissions using the associates program because whatever they put in their cart, you're getting a piece of it. That's awesome. That's something that's really cool. That's something that's not really a part of the influencer program. That's a benefit of associates program only. Okay. So now we understand how the associates program works. How do we get traffic to those links? I would still be creating content the exact same way I'm doing it for the influencer program, but instead of uploading it to our influencer storefront, I would be uploading it everywhere else. Sounds pretty simple and it is. Wait a minute, I'm still confused. So I am currently doing this with only one social media account right now. I have a YouTube channel where every time I do an influencer video, I also upload it to my YouTube channel. And I'm not gonna show you what that is at the moment, but I will show you my Amazon Associates account. Now, since I am an Amazon Associate and an influencer, I have two different stores. So I have to go in the top right-hand corner and switch between my two stores. So right now I'm on on my Amazon Associates store. And you can see that so far this week, I have made a whopping $22.35. Don't leave. Yes, it is a little bit harder to get sales through the Associates program. Yes, it is difficult to develop your traffic, but I am telling you, I did no work 
and I made an extra $22 this week. Not no work, but I took the exact same video that I had already done on the influencer program and just uploaded that exact same video into YouTube and that's it. And I just left it alone. And now my YouTube channel is starting to pick up steam. It's starting to roll and it's getting hundreds of people a day on all my videos. And those hundreds of people a day are turning into $22 a week at this point. So that's where I would start. I would do a video review of a product that you have in your house. I would upload that to YouTube and then I would start getting that ball rolling. I would not only do that, but I also had a video telling about how you can turn one piece of content into multiple. I would be doing that as well. Instead of just uploading that one piece of content like I'm doing, I would upload my full form video to a program like Get Munch, which will turn it into up to 10 vertical videos. Then I would be sharing those vertical videos on Pinterest, on Instagram, on Facebook Reels, and on that same YouTube channel as Shorts. Now you are taking that one single piece of content and 10Xing, 15Xing, 20Xing the amount of traffic that you could be getting to your affiliate links. Now, another side effect of doing all of this, if you put good three, four, five, six months worth of work doing video reviews daily, like you were gonna do in the influencer program anyway, upload them to YouTube, upload them to Pinterest, start growing these social media accounts. After four months, five months, six months, you might have a social media account that is poised perfectly to get approved for the Amazon Influencer Program. So now you build a little side business doing Amazon product reviews in the Associates Program, and you have these ridiculously cool social media platforms that are perfect to get approved for the Amazon Influencer Program. So you might be building both those businesses. And then when you are approved for the Influencer Program, you already have a back catalog of six months worth of videos that you could upload. You could be making hundreds of dollars literally on day one. It is possible. That's impossible. That is the first thing I would do. The next one is a little bit harder, but I think it could be equally as cool and I just have a basic interest in it, so I would be pushing this hard. That's what she said. It is blogging. Doing these reviews in text format, not just video format. And again, if you're looking at me going, oh my gosh, that's so hard. <laughs> Well, then this video probably isn't for you. You're probably never going to be successful with these types of things. Oh, that hurts. I know, tough love, sorry. If you look at this and say, okay, blogging, I wanna try it. I'm gonna go learn how to build my own blog. Now I've been building WordPress websites for a long, long time. So for me, it's very easy. That's the method I prefer. Billions of tutorials on YouTube. If you wanna learn how to build your own WordPress website, but it is a little bit more difficult to do it that way, but you have so much more control. So if you don't wanna do it that way, no problem. You can also so go to sites.google.com and you can choose all these different templates and you can start with a blank one, but they're so easy to edit, it's almost silly. So you open up a template, you can click into the text and change whatever text you want. You can change the images. You can remove portions of it if you don't like it. You can add portions of it if you wanna add text, add images, but you can create your own website full of textual reviews. The best way to get traffic to these are sharing them on social media and search engine optimization or SEO or getting organic search results. So ranking on Google when someone types in a specific keyword. The way to get ranked is having really good content. The way to get really good content, one, is write it. If you're a good writer, you can write reviews for all these Amazon products. But if you're not, like me, no problem. You can still do it. I use AI to do it myself. So if you're going to do a specific product I would recommend autoblogging.ai, which is a software which allows you to create Amazon product reviews with the help of AI. So all you have to do is enter a product URL. So if I wanted to sell this Fitbit, I would just copy the URL and paste it into here and then generate article. And it's going to generate around a 2000 word article, which I'm telling you, I've done this a lot. They are really good articles. And if you take the article that this thing writes and put it into an AI article, checker to see if it's AI, it doesn't come up as AI. It comes up as human written every time, which is amazing. It's one of the only auto blogging softwares that I've found that fools the AI checkers every single time. So I would recommend that for a single product review. So you would just pick the product, you would generate the article, and then you would copy that article or download it, and then you would just paste it right inside of your own WordPress site or inside of your sites.google.com site. Then you go to Amazon, you get your link, you link the images, and you link Link some of the words inside of your blog that go to Amazon so that you can get paid. Now, if you want to do more of like a top five things on Amazon or my three favorite things, like multiple things, if it's not just a single product, I would recommend Koala Writer. It's another program that I personally use that allows you to do an Amazon product roundup. It also allows you to use Chat GPT-4, which is cool. It's the, the newest version. So Amazon product roundup or blog post. Let's not just do a blog post, Amazon product roundup. You 
get to decide what the keyword is. So in this case, best dog food, whether that's amazon.com or .au or wherever you're located, how many products you want it to review. And then you just add your Amazon tracking link right in here, which is again, when you click on this, this will be what your store ID is, your Amazon tracking link. But you just put that Amazon tracking link in there and then you hit create article. It's gonna create a really, really crazy robust article with all of the images in place. And then it's gonna put the links with your Amazon Associates ID in there automatically. So all you have to do once this program cranks out that article on the best dog foods is copy it and paste it into your blog program of choice, whether that be WordPress or Google Sites. And it's automatically gonna have this really cool article with all the images of the products ranked my fifth best, my fourth best, my third best favorite, etc. And then all those products are automatically going to be linked to Amazon. So then you rinse and repeat. You can share these sites on social media or you can just do so much content that you're going to accidentally rank for some of them getting traffic to your site. And then you can up it still if you are diligent and you create lots of good content on a website like this. After six, eight months, if you have people coming to your website and you have lots of pages and all this content is great and juicy and, and Google loves it, then you can apply for AdSense on your website as well, which are just those ads that can appear between content automatically. And that's where you really can make some money. I made over $463,000 last year, and I bet probably 80% of that money came from Google AdSense alone. It's powerful, but it takes time and it takes work and it takes consistency to get approved for that. And I'm gonna probably do a whole video showing you my exact method on how I made that money in the future. So stick around if you're into that. But there you go. If you were denied and now you are sitting on your sofa thinking, oh, I was denied, I wanted to do that, now I can't. You can still be doing things. You can still be working towards that goal. You could be building content just on other sites that don't have as big of a barrier to entry. It's free to create an associates account. It's free to have a YouTube channel. It's free to have a Google site. You could be cranking out content, putting it out there into the world, getting organic traffic to that content, then use that social media account to get approved for the Amazon Influencer Program. So it is really up to you. You are only limited by your time and creativity and knowledge. And hopefully this was enough knowledge that you can at least have something that you can start working towards if you were unfortunately denied entry into the Amazon Influencer Program. So if this helped any of you and you want to see this type of content, then please do all of those things you're supposed to do to help a channel grow. And I'll see you in the next one. That didn't help me at all.